Hey guys, I'm Greg. This is Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer is another one from Nectar L's. This is the Red Nectar. Uh, it says Gold Medal, America Style, Amber Red, 2010 GABF. And is there anything else on the label we need to see? 5.4% alcohol by volume. Uh, this is, they're out of Paso Robles, California. And this is actually brewed by Firestone Walker now. They, uh, they took it over from Humboldt Brewing. So, uh, year-round serving, it says here on this one, guys. American Amber Red Ale. Uh, it says 5.4 here on this, but uh, the Beer Alcott has 5.5, so I don't know if that's what it used to do. They used to be when Humboldt did it, and that's what it is now that they do it. Uh, I've, I've done a couple of the beers uh, from, from, uh, from Nectar here, uh, and They've been the ones that Firestone Walker have done. I haven't done any that, that was done by Humboldt. And I'm a little biased with Firestone Walker. Just about everything that I've tasted from them has been uh, delicious. So uh, hopefully this will be too. The food pranks of this are cheeses, the sharp blue cheddar, and the meat is beef, poultry, and fish. Glassware's pint, Beckerstein mug, side ale. Uh, tumbler, about anything you want to pour it in, pour it into something, and it's not recommended for extended salaries being uh, uh, a low ABV beer, being 5.4%. So I don't think there's anything else we need to go over. So let's get it open. And see if it lives up to the reputation of Firestone Walker. Definitely a red ale. It's definitely pouring a red color. All right, guys. There's a bottle so you can look at it. Yeah, definitely red. Very bronze colored, almost a copper color. Very, uh, very copper colored, I would say. There are some bubbles streaming up. It is fairly clear. I can see the light bulb right through it. Not cloudy at all. No haze. Looks pretty good. Not too much of a head on that pour. Uh, just covering the top of the beer. Let's get a nose on it. It's got a slight floral, I'm getting a little bit of a honey smell too, it's a sweetness that I'm getting from that. Not a, a huge hot presence on this one guys, so more, more, uh, more roasted or toasted malt uh, on this one than the hot presence to me. Just a little bit of grapefruity or pineness there. Not a much. Not just barely picking it up. <sighs> yeah. Well, let's see what it tastes like. See if it tastes like the aroma. Cheers, guys. A big, toasty, malty taste on this one. Not a big hot presence. Very pleasant though. It is easy drinking. Nothing is really standing out though. I mean, it's not blowing my hair back or anything. So, and reds, uh, red ales are de definitely not my style. Very roasty, very toasty. Honey, caramel, with just a little citrusy hot presence there. A little floral that's going on there, guys. Well, let's run out of the fridge. About 40 degrees. We're going to let it warm up just a tad. Let the other half sip it and see what she thinks of it. And we'll be right back. We'll do the final chug on this one. Stick around. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Thanks for sticking around. Got just a little left here. Maybe just a little bit more. Maybe just a little bit.
A lot of malt presence there. Very toasty, very roasty. Not a big hot presence on this one, but like I said again, it's not my style. Very tasty, very easy drinking. Uh, very sessionable if you're into the red ale, more malt than anything else. Uh, it's, it's a decent beer, guys. Cheers. Final chug. Not a beer that I would seek out, but not a beer that I would turn down. Very tasty, very sessionable. A lot of roasty, toasty malt in that, as far as I, I'm concerned. A little bit of uh, citrusy, floral, hot presence, but it is not hardly there. If you're a hop head, you know, this is not what you're after. So, uh, But it was a nice change. I'm glad I, glad I tried it. Uh, nothing bad to say about it. This doesn't have quite enough taste for me. So, With that being said, guys, uh, I'm going to give it some good ratings. Uh, uh, I'm going to give it a 7. It's a B+. Plus. It's, a, it's, it's definitely worth trying if you haven't had it. Maybe your cup of tea. It's just not my, not enough taste there for me, guys. Uh, Rate beer has 91 overall and 98 in the style. So somebody there thinks it fits the red ale, American amber red ale style, pretty good. So I'm not going to disagree with that since that's not my style. And uh, beer Adam comes up with 83, so about where I thought they would be, 83, 84, somewhere in that area. So uh, not too bad, guys. So if you've had this beer, especially since. Uh, Firestone Walker is doing it now. Uh, give me some comments back on this one and let me know what you think of it. And I thought it was okay. So, uh, with that being said, guys, rate, comment, subscribe, and you know what we're going to do tomorrow. We're going to look in the fridge. If you need an opener, give me a shout. Shirt's still available too. Got some here on the couch. See y'all tomorrow. We're going to look in the fridge.